Hello, HD Wing Nut here again. Um, I just wanted to go over here. I, I did some uh, thermal testing on this. Basically, I'm curious um, how we can drop some temperatures in here, especially the CPU, um, because it seemed like the temperatures were running pretty warm um, for the system. Um, so I, I did some testing. I took a stock system um, sitting on this bench, not on this pad. Um, Basically flat like this, uh, thermal paste as it was came from the factory and just ran through a few benchmarks just to check temperatures. Um, and you're, I'm going to show you, there are basically five results. One is like this, factory stock sitting on a flat table. Um, two is propping it up. Um, these are basically caps from Gatorade bottles underneath the pads underneath here. Well, a little bit of extra airflow. And third was, move these again. Um, undervolted the CPU by 150 millivolts. Um, seems these Skylight CPUs can be undervolted pretty far. I haven't even pushed it beyond that. It might even be able to get cooler, but I thought I'd go ahead with that because that seemed to show the biggest uh, potential in, in temperature drop there that I could notice. Um, and then uh, the, so that's stack, propped, stack configuration again with uh, minus 150 millivolt. And then I went through and repasted the uh, CPU and GPU then retest it again, just flat, and then also at 100 minus 150 millivolts. And I'll share those uh, temperature differences with you to show you what uh, how much of an improvement you can get from one dropping the uh, voltage, undervolting the CPU, and two um, changing your own thermal paste. So um, not necessarily always going to have the same result. Sometimes it comes from the fa factory with a good thermal paste job, but more often than not, I've noticed at least a couple degrees Celsius improvement just by redoing it myself. So anyhow, um, here's the uh, results. Okay, so here's the results. Um, I'll go through this here briefly so you can understand what you're looking at here. But basically, here's the three benchmarks that were run. The 3D Mark 11 P, which gives you 1280 by 720 um, run. I think we're all pretty familiar with that one. The Final Fantasy um, at maximum detail, Final 14, and uh, W Prime, really just a CPU heavy application here, uh, running at eight threads, so four threads plus four hyper threading. Um, you're looking at two different values here. Um, the black indicates the maximum or peak temperatures throughout the run, and the white values here, uh, indicated by the solid, the darker colored bars are the average temperatures of throughout the run. Um, you can see the five different colors represent the five different runs. The blue is stock, basically just a stock system from the factory. Fire it up, run it, and that's what we got. Uh, propped basically means putting those bottle caps underneath it to see if we can get a little bit of airflow that'll help that. Um, and then stock system, basically stock just means it hasn't been repasted. Um, at, uh, with 150 millivolt drop in CPU, um, voltage. And then you see the red and the green, um, which indicate the repasted versions. The repaste basically just took the system, repasted it, and then ran the system. And then repasting it and uh, dropping the CPU voltage by 150 millivolts. So what do we get here? Um, you can see basically if you compare stock to stock, paste, repaste and st stock, ever at uh, well, 3D Mark 11 you can see your average temperatures drop by a good 9 degrees. Um, even your peak temperatures drop by a good 12 degrees. Um, and uh, now if you look at undervolting, uh, first of all, prop didn't seem to do, it helped a little bit on this. Um, undervolting, you can see, definitely helped the peak temperatures, although the average temperature was a little bit higher. Um, and then uh, same thing here, we look at uh, with repaste and undervolt that the peak temperature is down by a couple degrees, but the average temperature is up a little bit higher. Um, look, continuing on to Final Fantasy, um, see a similar trend, stock to stock, you're dropping average temperatures um, by about uh, 5 degrees and uh, peak temperatures by a good uh, 8 degrees. And then you look at the uh, uh, propping up the system, helps a little bit with the peak temperatures and average temperatures. And undervolting um, basically gets you a couple more degrees, even more. And same here um, after the repaste. So you can go all the way from uh, a stock system at 78 degrees average, 94 degrees peak, down to 69 degrees average and 79 degrees peak. That's pretty substantial. And just doing a CPU heavy load, like W Prime 2.10 with eight threads, 
Um, you can see here with the uh, stock and prop it seems like when we propped it for some reason temperatures went up by a little bit um, for some reason that's kind of odd but okay either way you can see that uh, average temperature stock system versus a repasted system um, dropped by a good 8 degrees centigrade Celsius whatever you want to call it and uh, peak temps dropped by a good 9 degrees and then uh, dropping the uh, voltage even um, just on a stock system is pretty significant and compare that with the uh, drop voltage on the uh, repasted system. So again, you go from 77 or 79 even average temps down to 65 and peak temps from 85 to 67. Um, looking at the GPU, the GTX 970M, um, the drop in voltage of the CPU isn't going to affect it as much because it's affecting the CPU primarily, right? But since they share a heat pipe, there may be some indicator that it's uh, improving. So again we look at uh, 3D Mark 11 um, stock system your average GPU temperature is 64 degrees and with peak at 70 propping it up helped the average temperatures a little bit not really much and peak temperatures about the same. And then undervolting um, the CPU uh, basically did help because the temperatures if you look up here you know we had well, that's weird yeah your peak temps were a lot lower you know your average temperatures were Oh, average temperatures, definitely, okay. Never mind. Okay, your average temperatures were about the same, but your peak temperature was lower, and that resulted in a few degrees drop on the GPU side. And then again, you look at uh, stock versus repaste. I mean, you're talking a good 8 degrees C on average, and your peak temps don't really show that it's only a degree C, but average temperatures show it there. Then undervolting um, CPU helped a little bit, you know, because it's a little less temperature on the CPU. Going on to Final Fantasy, this one looks pretty much like there really was no effect at all. I mean even going stock to stock with repaste it looks like it's about the same. So to me it looks like the uh, GPU paste job was pretty good from the factory but the CPU paste job wasn't. So overall it was worthwhile just because we got that CPU temp drop. And then again we look here at uh, W prime. This is really primarily a, it's really just a CPU heavy load but this is really the GPU at idle, um, but you can see it heats up the GPU a little bit, and so it's pretty much the same across the board. I wouldn't expect to see anything dramatic there. So what does this mean? Um, propping it up helps by a degree or two, so it's something simple to do. Um, repasting definitely improved temps across the board on the CPU, and uh, some cases on the GPU even, uh, at least your peak temps. And then uh, uh, dropping the CPU voltage uh, definitely. If you look at the CPU, you know that that repasting and CPU voltage drop gives us a significant overall improvement. So, what can you learn from this? Well, I guess for one, it's easy to prop it up. It might gain an improve a degree or, or two Celsius. Uh, but more importantly, undervolt your CPU, and if you're up for it, repaste it with a decent thermal paste. You don't have to use IC Diamond. You can use any other kind, preferably you know. N1H1 or, or some other Noctua or whatever you can find to repaste it, but um, it'll definitely improve your overall cooling. Um, fans also will probably run less uh, heavy, you know, it'll be quieter, and overall it's just good to have a system that's cooler. Anyhow, that's it for now. Thanks for listening.